and yeah, let's get ready. What is going on, everybody? It's Bynes here, and for this video, uh, Death Battle Gray versus as Death, Fairy Tail versus Akame Got Kill. Um, my buddy Jeff is here. Say hi. Hola. And Jeff, my boy, knows neither of these characters, so I am actually the expert on them. And I say expert lightly because. Um, I can't particularly say, like, any, like, numbers for either of the characters, so this is gonna, actually gonna be a, kind of a rough death battle to, uh, judge. If I had to say a winner, I would say Grey, though, because if I remember correct, uh, like, you know, as death is kind of a crazy bitch, <laughs> and, like, some of you may not even know this, but I, I, I I Got Kill was an anime series I actually reacted to. On my old, one of my old YouTube channels, I think it was my very first YouTube channel, but uh, that actually was one of the ones that also got me got me copyright strikes, so I never re-uploaded. Got you copyright strikes. It got me copyright strikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh uh, yeah, it was, and it was an all right show. I I'll, I'll just say that right now. I thought it was okay, and uh, I kind of got killed. And e Ezda is insane, and I know she's powerful. But fairy tale characters are kind of broken, so and and Gray is relative to Natsu, and we already know how strong Natsu is from their previous death battle. So relative to that is uh, very strong. I know Ezeth is like the top tier of her universe, but I don't. It's been a long time since I've seen. Um, I kind of got killed. I know she can do some crazy stuff. I just don't remember if any of it's um, Gray level. All right. Okay. All right. So three, two, one, start. Oh yeah, and you're also about to get some anim anime weirdness. <laughs> the element of ice is cold and unforgiving. Literally. Only in an equally frigid and unmerciful land can one understand its true potential. <laughs> SpongeBob. Bullbuster, ice mage of the fairy tale guild. And as death, the Imperial General from Akami Got Kill. Oh man. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Huh. Oh. And a that? Far, far away lies the kingdom of Fiori, a place oh, filled boy. with magic. Oh yeah. Then I I don't know if I brought it up on on a video yet. I actually finished Fairy Tale. I don't know if I said it last time. Or at least the anime, not not the manga. Gray survived, though everyone else wasn't so lucky. But hey, I was gonna say, wait, there's an ending to Fairy Tale? Yes. And she just so happened to be one of the greatest ice mages in the world. So great. Or at least they, the anime ended, but then there's like another arc in the manga after the anime. So they're pulling a bleach. No, like Fairy Tale actually ended on a climactic place. They just decided to keep going in the manga. Yeah, I don't really know. With powerful magic at his beck and call, Gray became reckless, desperate to prove himself and destroy the demon. Sadly, this carelessness would change his life for the worse one more time. He tried to take the demon out himself, but things didn't go so great. Even with his shiny new powers, whoa, whoa, whoa! Gray learned how to do all this cool ice magic by stripping. Well, ice magic here I go. <laughs> Boil me up, Wiz. Uh, no, 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 no. Removing clothes was just part of Ur's training. See, she instructed Gray to do so in order to adapt to the cold to better resist it, letting him have a much greater range when it comes to his own ice. Why did When I still had my favorite shirt. That's funny. <laughs> the cost of the caster's life. Ah, there it is. Big oof. Big oof. It's not bad enough. Gray learned an ultimate, ultimate version called Lost Ice Gel. This one also kills you, but as a bonus, it also erases the memories of you from everyone who ever knew you. 
Sure, the Lost Eye Shell is hundreds of times more powerful and basically a guaranteed win move if he has enough time to cast it, but how does that even work? <laughs> Say Grey cut off your arm, leaving you handicapped for years, then Lost Ice shelled himself elsewhere. That would be a very confusing day. Is that how I lost my leg? Wonder who it was I knew. Eh, ah, well, speaking of lost, Grey's been <laughs> lost families at this point. But once again, he doesn't know how he lost his leg. This time with the mages of the Fairy Tale Guild. Including a clingy blue hair. Oh, God. Juvia. Not Juvia. <laughs> you can ship them. Everybody does. Including them. Now full from us. <laughs> including them. No longer would he be a reckless Avenger, but a cautious, laid back defender of his new friends. Which works out since this is the sort of world where fighting for your friends actually increases your magical power. Yeah. True story. You could say he's it's the epitome of uh, friendship no, plot twist or or, or um like killing magic of course after becoming uh, ice devil slayer gray learned how to devour ice to replenish his power oh okay that was a thing he can do all right mess around with other people's ice magic and conjure spells designed to kill demons which would have been really really handy just a little bit ago <laughs> yeah well, oh this magic ice mages can wipe out an entire town all at once or stir up an ice storm that covered the country of fiori by comparing Invel's ice storm to the sea oh fiori, yeah i think as death is screwed the force and energy of the storm would be equivalent to more than 20 i don't remember as death doing anything on this scale <laughs> Mm, eh. I don't know about that. No, not. Eh, you know what? They're similar, but eh. Oh God. Don't remind me of this fight. And Gray should definitely be in the same ballpark at least, especially since Urza wasn't even at her full strength. Truly, as long as Gray keeps his pants on. Literally, he is a fierce warrior <laughs> who will always fight for his friends. Oh, God. All right. I, wait, let me make sure I don't get an ad somewhere randomly in this video. Right, I don't think I will. And as death. Okay, let's go. Hunting giant monsters called danger beasts with her father. Awesome. Now that's how you raise a kid. Look at the size of that thing. Where can I get a hunting license for those? However, Esdeath's destiny would lie further south, among a thousand-year-old empire. Because what do you know? Her whole clan got wiped out, leaving her as the lone survivor. Now, normally, this would lead to a dramatic revenge story and a lesson on friendship and appreciating what you have and stuff. But, uh, that's not what happened. No, it's not! <laughs> described herself to a sort of survival of the fittest philosophy. To her, if her father lay dead before her, that didn't mean she should be sad or angry. That meant her father was weak. You're damn right, finally! Somebody knows what I'm talking about! That's my power of friendship! This girl's got it all figured out! <laughs> now on her own, and maybe a bit insane, as uh. in the militant ranks of the widespread empire, where her violent nature found a new calling. Yeah, like when she buried 400,000 people alive! Mama Boomstick always told me you should enjoy your work, so... Good for her! <laughs> Promotion and an offer of a new weapon that would change everything. A Tegu. As death was already extremely proficient what? with a sword, but this was something entirely different. Oh god. A tegu is a supernatural relic forged from the remnants of special danger beasts. They can take the form of anything from a battle axe to a flute to a giant pair of scissors. However, as death chose one so unique, most were absolutely terrified of it. It was blood, the demon's extract. And because she's a totally sane and normal person, <laughs> she drank it. All of it. Okay. After surviving the side effects, you know, the usual headaches, nausea, maddening voices in her head telling her to kill everyone, as <laughs> her reward. Ice magic, bitches! She can make and shape ice out of thin air. Weapons, shields, platforms, horses, frickin' meteors. You know <laughs> it, she can make it. Plus, she can fly by holding herself in the air with ice, and once built an entire army of ice horse people. Look at them all! There's thousands of them! <laughs> well, it did take her a few days. I, I'm, I'm slightly scared for Grey. I will say that. She can even create a giant suit of armor around herself like some sort of icy mech. So she's a super deadly ice lady, but she's also got a subset. Oh no. Oh no. Not even sadistic conquest or unstoppable ice magic could fill the void in her heart.
as death sought one thing above all else. Oh no. Love. The Ice Queen needs some loving. I know just the man for the job. So does she, apparently. She made a list of the specific qualities in her ideal man. <laughs> turned out to be this guy, Tatsumi. What? What? Really? Oh, some dopey generic anime protagonist kid. <laughs> he literally is an anime protagonist. Oh, come on. He's like a 3 out of 10, and she's not even on the chart. She's way too good for him. <laughs> oh, right. She's crazy. Even better. <laughs> Honestly, one of the highlights of Akame got killed because it was insane. <laughs> and I know the manga is very different. I know, but huh? Wait. Producing a storm of this scale would require a kinetic energy over 280 petatons of TNT. Oh God, I have a feeling. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Oh, I'm scared for Gray now. Rebels out there, Akami, who can dodge lightning, and dumb old Tatsumi, who was strong enough to outmuscle this absolute unit of a tank. <laughs> uh, Chico Taser. What's up with all these made up German words? Chico Taser, or the Primus Imperator, was powerful enough to create a massive crater outside the Imperial capital. To make a crater of this size, the blast must have equaled over 900 teratons of TNT. And as death is even more hardcore. Get this, one time, her arm was poisoned. But before she let the poison spread to her body, she karate chopped her whole freaking arm off and replaced it with an ice sword. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. wasn't enough for Ezdeath to win Tatsumi's love. And she didn't even get to conquer the world either, because the main title character had to ruin everything. But in the end, she didn't to conquer. Or see herself as weak. Rather, she simply regretted not being able to look at Tatsumi one more time. Her <laughs> cold philosophy was growing a bit warmer. Or maybe she was just an insane psychopath. Yeah. I will always be on top. I will always be victorious. No matter what gets in my way. Hey Jeff, if you're ever curious, it's on Netflix. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think both these shows are on Netflix, but they only have like three arcs so for fairy tale. Before, Blue Apron makes it easy to eat well. Choose from a variety of chef designed ready to cook meals with perfectly proportioned ingredients. Oh, while, while we're here talking about Blue Apron, how are you all surviving uh, quarantine? Blue Apron, and it comes straight to your front door. Price to start as low as Man, literally nothing in my life has changed. Blue Apron is flexible. So you can skip entire weeks I can't see people. That's about it. Well, some people, that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, so much stuff has been... Uh, some stuff I really wanted to do, and both of us wanted to do were postpone. That's about it. Yeah, coronavirus is uh, cock-blocking me. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Chippy. Yeah, though. Okay, I'm actually scared for Gray now, because I was thinking, like, Gray had this in the bag, because I don't remember as death doing anything near the scale. The same scale, but that contradicted that idea. Oh, God. Sounds like a line he's actually said. <laughs> Whew. Uh oh. Shit. You have no right to feel my boot against your face. <laughs> <Now>. <laughs> 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 
Oof, some crazy effects. Very nice. Some weird effects, at least. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah Oh shit! Uh oh. She can turn that. Oof. Oh, is she now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, but you can resist it. God. Yeah, that's why I was scared. Same range of speed by scaling to feats of dodging lightning. Yeah, but the Queen of Cold Kink definitely had more ice power up her sleeve. Just look at those storms. Yeah, I was about to say, like a continent level, that's one thing, but that's like planetary. still had to deduce the exact nature and potential of her storm. Remember, Esteth specifically claimed it took her a few days. Oh man, they must have really nerfed her in the anime. Holy crap. Damn, the anime did not do her justice. <laughs> I wonder, did that happen like later in the manga that that actually happened in the anime? Because, like, just saying, Jeff, the a anime and and the manga have completely different endings <laughs> from what I hear, from what I last heard. Okay. Yeah, I knew as soon as he brought this up, like he was gonna lose. So. was more useful given its immediate effect compared to the ice shell's long casting time and its versatility in that Esdeath could follow it up with whatever she wanted. Also, it doesn't kill her, so that's a plus. <laughs> sure. Technically, Gray's Ice Devil Slayer magic means he could probably resist the Mahoptopotamus a bit. But that brat Tatsumi had crazy good cold resistance too, and it didn't do him much good against the time breeze. Gray's speed and versatility meant he could hold his own. But Esdeath's awesome power, uniquely suited time freezing, and domineering perseverance saw her through this battle. She's trying to cut off her her arm again to do that. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Like, I began, I got some more scared the more they were talking about her, but, oh, man. I, I, I thought Gray had that in the bag. I didn't know who was going to win. Yeah, I know, you didn't know. What the fuck? What? <laughs> okay. But why though? Goro versus a very specific Pokemon? <sighs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. I feel bad for the Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. But, huh, that's actually kind of a weird fight. I don't know what to think about that one. But, <laughs> right. but I, I won't lie. Like, I, I thought, from what I could recall from both shows, Gray had that in the bag, but... Apparently the mo like apparently as death was nerfed compared to the manga. Oh my god. Like I, I don't know. Like it's been forever since I've watched the comic got kill, so I don't remember everything. I do remember the relationship part being hilarious though. I do remember that. Oh man. Fair enough. Alright. And I think I'm just gonna leave that recording there so I can start editing. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave like you did. You'll see us in the next video. Peace out. Deuces.